Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so this time around, uh, I guess we're going to continue on our quest here. Uh, we have to get cutting. So, like I said, these growth are, like, so tiny. It seems like a waste. Oh, I never noticed that. That looks so weird. If I ever walk up to a tree and I see a twig doing that, I am going to the hospital. Or I'm going to wonder who drugged me. To anybody who's never seen a tree in real life, twigs do not do that. They do not snake from the tree and freakily move around like that. That is something. I've never noticed that before. I'm sure, sure glad I noticed it this time. <laughs> that is so weird. We're going to grab a screenshot. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get this bad boy rolling here. Alright, so... Oh, I don't have access. Oh, jeez. What? How do I not have access to the land? Didn't I buy this? We own this land, do we not? Did I plant too close to the edge or something? Oh, my God. As if they could give me one more reason to hate things about this game. All right. We can actually sell this land, to be totally honest. Because we don't need that anymore. Okay, so where does our land begin then? Okay, let's go over to the other side, I suppose, and we'll cut as far back as we can. Like, what's the property line here? Let's see. According to this, like, we must have planted trees, like, a couple feet over from where we were supposed to. That's so annoying. All right, well, let's uh, let's just kind of grab a bunch. Uh, we'll cut them to five. If I can get 500 out of that, I'll be blown away. Let's see. Can we get 500s? Oh, we can, but they're ugly. Hey, at least it's only one cut. That's kind of kind of a, a bonus, I guess. Uh, there we go. Oops, I keep trying to turn the head. So I have a confession. I actually do have a um, processor that's in the works right now. I was going to bring it into this one, but I'm like, eh, you know what? We're going to be playing on uh, Grizzly Mountain here pretty quick, so I figured I would just wait till we got that one all sorted out. But the processor is definitely in the works. It makes this thing look like the piece of garbage that it is, so that's fun. Oh, I just gotta turn my joy to key on so I can drive around here. There we go. I'm just driving with my POV still. It's just, I don't know, it's so weird. I'm not used to that at all. This is gonna take like a million years to get this done. Just pile it wherever, man. Nobody cares. Oop, that was glitchy. So we're just gonna randomly knock down trees and pile them all freakish like, I guess. No rhyme or reason, just lay them down. And we'll leave the ugly butts there whenever we can. This is so weird doing it this way. Goes against my logging instinct. We'll call this thinning. <laughs> sure, thinning. That sounds good. Oh boy. So we finally got our new mic set up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it does. Oh, it's not the mic. It's the same microphone. New, uh, new delivery system through a mixer. It actually. I listened to a couple takes back just to hear what it sounds like, and ugh, it just sounds so much fuller and nice. Coming through proper preamps and stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it as much as I do. And if you don't, well, too bad. This is it. So, <laughs> It's nice to uh, actually have a decent preamp to give me some audio quality. Because the other little interface I had was... I mean, it was okay. I mean, it's not, like, it's not like you couldn't hear it or it was distorted or anything. It's just this one's a lot cleaner and fuller sounding so my voice sounds a little bit more like I sound well maybe not what I sound like in real life but pretty close to as if you were talking more to somebody directly so you can hear the tones unless of course you're watching this on a cell phone then you probably don't know the difference because you can't hear the sexy bass sounds but when you get home and listen to it on your sweet beats headphones <laughs> you can give her. 
Actually, you know what? There's a good question for all of you comment people. You guys like to comment. I like to ask questions. So here's the question of this video. What do you watch FDR logging videos on? What do you watch these videos on? Do you watch them on a TV, on a computer, on your phone? And if you're watching, what kind of speakers are you listening on? Are you listening on TV speakers? Do you have earbuds in while you're on your phone? Do you have headphones on? On your computer? Are they coming through your computer speakers? I don't know. That's just a fun thing. As an audio psychopath, I love audio to all degrees. Um, I just like to uh, see what people are up to. I'd say most people are probably headphones at a computer. That would be my guess. Headphones at a computer or on a TV. That seems to be the popular consumer-grade thing to do these days. So um, That's probably what, what you guys are enjoying it on, I imagine. But us people who do YouTube or entertainment and stuff, it's a lot of work to uh, find a nice, balanced sound for all systems like that. Well, I mean anything, whether you're doing music or YouTube or whatever the case. Um, it's a lot of work trying to balance it out. Even to get this mic sounding decent with this mixer and that, like it took, I don't know, probably three hours of playing around just to get the right tones and then trying to convert it over to OBS and playing with the streaming stuff and recording stuff and... It's all quite a nightmare actually dealing with, but what is going on here? But I, th I think it turned out alright, so I'm not too worried. We'll see how it translates to YouTube. It's funny because you'll do all this work, you record this beautiful file, and then you go upload it on YouTube and the video quality changes, audio quality changes, all this stuff. Just because they use lots of encoders and compressors and stuff that changes the tone of the audio, which is kind of annoying, but that's what you get. Man, how many of the trees do you think we can cut down per episode? And the real question is, do we have the gajones to cut all of them? Or do you think you guys are going to get bored, as I will, and have to go to Grizzly Mountain? But I'm almost done the processor, or at least the, uh, the beta version of the processor. The version you guys are probably going to see is not going to be the version that's going to be coming out. I'm, I got like a beta version. I just used the old head from the old model. It's not very pretty. It's kind of ugly. Um, but I'm just doing lots of beta testing on getting a really good head. And then Josh is working on building a new Waratah style head for it. So that'll be really cool. But um, I still want to get logging not using this damn thing that I'm using right now. So... You guys will be seeing that showing up here pretty quick when I do the Grizzly Mountain series, so. It'll be fun. We got some other maps in the works here, too, so that's uh, that's pretty exciting. Lots of new funky stuff. I can't speak of anything on any of them. One that's coming is going to be called Rogue River. And uh, that's actually based off of a, a place where uh, Chad, or Mithras there, where he actually grew up, so... He's putting a lot of love in, into that to try to make it similar to his his experience growing up in that kind of territory. So that'll be kind of fun. I love doing maps like that. I love when people have an area that's related to logging that, you know, gets your attention. You're just like, oh, man, that's so cool. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You know, let's cut down these trees, too. Look at these big bad boys. Holy Lord. It's too heavy for this thing to even handle. That's what she said. Just kidding. But not really. There we go. Oh. Beauty. Man, glad it's not all those trees. Think how long that would take to fall all these like that with this thing. Jeez Louise. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God. Try to lay them down flat here. At least the mill's close, so you know what? We're just gonna be it's just gonna be a whole lot of loading. That's what that'll be. We'll be loading things up like a boss. Oops, that wasn't supposed to go there. You guys know that. It wasn't supposed to go there, but it did. You know, just one of those situations. So I wonder if we should just work back up our trail here now, maybe. what I'm thinking. I'm going to cut these a little high just so I don't get a second cut out of them. 
I just want one stick, and then I want it to be evaporated. Alright, let's try this. Oop. And these POVs are not good for driving. They're, like, horrible. But I cannot find a solution with these pedals, man. I've tried everything. I've tried every... Every freakish combination that I can think of to try to make it work, and everything just feels so freaking unnatural. It just drives me nuts. So I'm thinking if I can't find a solution, I'm just going to get the pedals right out of there and not use them anymore. I'm a very simplest kind of guy. If I can find something that's not needed anymore, I just get rid of it and stop using it. Because I don't know what to do. Now, like I said, I think I've tried pretty much every method. I might fiddle around with it again today just to see if there's maybe some kind of an easier solution, but not likely. Well, the good part is we're hacking these trees down rather quick, so that's good. It's so hard to line that stupid thing up. There we go. You could probably actually touch on that next row a little bit there, too. I mean, if we can reach them, we might as well turf them out here. feels like I'm cutting down like an apple orchard. That's kind of what it feels like. I wonder if you can actually... What is an, What are apple trees? What kind of tree is an apple tree? Is it just an apple tree? Is it a form of an oak tree? What is it? I don't know anything about those kind of trees. All I know is... Kind of the stuff we have up here. We don't have apple trees up here. I wonder if you could log apple trees. Wouldn't that be cool? Can you imagine finding like a, a really awesome, like a wild apple tree that actually would probably be really horrible. They'd, apples would all be pretty gross. Bug covered, nasty things. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. I think it'd be sweet. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. Look at our mess of trees here. This is just bad. Oh, I fit. I didn't think I'd fit between those two stumps, but we totally did. I'm kind of like, hey, I'm getting the hang of this. And I'm like, I don't want to get the hang of this. I want my own. <laughs> I want my other processor back. I don't want this gangly, dangly headed piece of crap. I like my fixed processor, okay? I love that thing. If you could make them like like the dangle processors like real life, instead of these like rubber bandy wiggly pieces of crap, then I probably would be more inclined to use one of those, but oh it's a stupid thing. Sure, let's cut it a hundred times. There we go. But yeah, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Gangly dangles. The gangle dangle, if you will. With the uh, fixed head, I can just make such nicer piles, and I have so much more control, and it doesn't do things like it just did right there, so that's good. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to it. Oop. Oh my god. High stumps are just a bad idea in, in this game, hey? The problem is if I make too low of cuts, then I get two trees out of this, and I don't want two trees out of this. I just want one. Killing the apple orchard. But not really, because it's not really an apple orchard, so... Just cutting down trees that aren't grown up yet. So what's this? what are we going to do here? Should we kind of cut a hole, or should we just turn around and keep walking down the line? My problem is I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that if I walk down the line. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, it'll be tight. She's going to be tight. Man, you know what's really going to suck? Track, trekking down here with the, uh, with the 880. <laughs> Man, those tracks are going to hate these stumps. I guess we could stump grind, but God, who has enough time in their lives for that? Not this guy. Definitely not this guy. 
Man, she's sure cold out there today. I mean, well, looking at the rest of the province, maybe it's not so cold, but it's about minus 32, which is pretty, I don't know, I think that's pretty cold. With the wind and stuff, it sucks. But then again, down like, where is it, like Manitoba, it's minus like 53 or something. Like, my God, like why even, how are you even alive after that? Like, I don't know, man, that's too much. That's like, yeah, Mars is pretty close to those temperatures, I'm pretty sure. Not a good time for anybody, especially if you're working outside. You know what I should do is just double cut these, actually. Hey, that works, right? I just can't get over why I can't turn the damn head while I'm filling. It drives me nuts. Just walking up and down the road here, you know, minding our business. Okay, let's 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 do a little stumping action here, just a little bit. I probably can't. Oh, right, these aren't my trees. I keep thinking, well, I can stump them as low as I want, but you can't. These are giants' trees. Oh, I can stump them pretty low though, low enough, I think, eh? Maybe we'll just stump them really low and just say, suck it, two cuts is life. Well, some, see, some do two cuts, but not all of them, which is really funny. That's one thing I'm trying to work on the other machine, or the other processor, is just getting the collisions right on the, the head. Because sometimes you get too close to the tree and it wiggles around and... Makes you kick back from the tree really hard. And I'm trying to figure out how to really get around that. But I know everybody's dying for a processor. That's important. So so the processor does have two optional openable claws. So you can open the main claws. And you can close and open the rollers as well. Um, you don't have to use the rollers. But I have them set on the same button that controls this thing scoping in and out. And then um, the other one just closes like the regular... The regular claw button so hopefully people can figure that out i'm sure many won't but some will the diehards who like to customize their controls they'll figure it out and then everybody else will be just the way it is so i can run over these ones these ones are tall though i'm gonna get rid of those okay whatever happened there drop that there Get another one. And another one. This is going to be a big, messy field of trees that we're going to have to go find. <laughs> be like hide and seek. <laughs> it's probably not going to be a super great time, but hey, we'll make it work. We'll make it work one way or another. All right, so these ones we'll have to kind of clean up a little bit here because they're a little nasty. Whoops. See, like, I would love to see a processor that does that in reality. Like, what is it even doing? What are you doing, you crazy thing? I think I can drive over these. I guess we'll find out. Might be a little tight. Oh, I'll come back for that row. Too far. The next row should be better though, because we did a lot better job this time around cutting them low, so when we come up that other side, it should be pretty straightforward. It's like, I feel like a lawnmower actually, you know, just kind of up and down the block, you know, cutting them all out. Okay, that was interesting. Sure, let's lay it that way. Again, I don't think real life processors do that either, but if they start doing that and you're a processor operator, Call 911, because something bad is about to happen. Something horrible. Alright, let's cut these two trees and that big tall one, and then we'll call this video. And then we'll come back, and we'll cut more. I imagine we probably have another... Maybe four episodes before we get to uh, Grizzly Mountain? That's a rough guess. We'll see how quick we load and how quick we get the rest of these trees down, but... I imagine next episode, we now that we have kind of a system down, it should be a little quicker. 
Why is it falling that way? Oh my good lord. Sure, whatever, man. Just drag it over my tires. You know, all legit, like... All legit, like... Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to park this right here. Put this right here. Oop. Place it on the stump. There we go. So now we're cutting some rows here. So that's going to be fun. We're going to come through here and it's literally going to be pickup sticks. Uh, look at all this crap. And they're so tiny. Thank God we have that uh, power clam on there because, my God, that would be a horrible mess. So yeah, we'll come back. We're just I'm gonna keep shaving up to this row right here, and then we'll just mass knock all this down, I guess. But like I said, we lawnmowered three rows pretty good there, I'd say. I think we did both three rows, hey? One, two, three row? Yeah, sure. Three, maybe four. Yeah, three rows. Four rows. Let's go with four rows. And then we got another four, so by the, by the end of the next video, we should be able to clean it up for sure. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. So if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug any of these trees. Because they love you as much as you love them. Maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.